Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the exciting career option in actuarial science. Hi, I'm Linima Falswal and this is my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be giving a very brief overview on topics like what is actuarial science, what subjects you need to opt for in your 11th and 12th to pursue actuarial science as a career option, actuarial exams, and lastly, the scope of actuarial science as a career option in India as well as abroad. Let's address the elephant in the room. What is actuarial science? In case you're absolutely alien to the term, let me tell you. Actuarial science is a discipline that deals with financial risk, insurance and financial sector. You can find all of that on the internet. Let's talk realistically. So basically, in very layman terms, actuarial science is actually about making insurance policies. Emphasis on the word make. We assess future risks based on current as well as historic data. To further break that down, um, in the words of my colleague, she explains actuarial science in a way that suppose you're someone who sells bags, you have a business of selling bags. Today, standing at the present time point, you know the cost that you have incurred in your business. Suppose you have incurred the cost of 12 rupees, um, that includes your making cost, the material cost or whatever. And you also know that you are going to sell this bag at 20. So today you know that you are making a profit of 8 rupees. However, in the field of insurance, the insurer, the company or the person who is selling insurance policies does not know when they are going to incur costs. So suppose the insurer is charging a premium of 1000 rupees today, they are not sure when the uh, policy holder is going to die and hence the insurer will have to give them the benefit or when the policy holder would want to not pay the premium and um, again that will uh, make the insurer pay some amount of the premium as promised that is where actuaries or the actuarial professionals come into foreplay so basically that is what we do uh, speaking on larger terms Now that we've talked about what actuarial science is, let's talk about what subjects you need to opt for in 11th and 12th to opt for actuarial science as a career option. So even though there's the word science in the term actuarial science, you don't necessarily have to have science as a subject in your 11th and 12th. There is no official requirement from the examination conducting bodies of um, actuarial science. I have seen people from every background, science, commerce, maths, who opted for actuarial science later on in their career. But one suggestion that I would have and something that I have observed over the years is that people who like mathematics and statistics enjoy actuarial science more as a career option than the ones who don't. Now let's talk about the actuarial exams. So for us Indians, there are two bodies of examinations that conduct actuarial exams. One of them is Institute of Actuaries of India or IAI and the other one is Institute and Faculty of Actuaries UK. So both of these bodies uh, conduct actuarial exams and we can opt for either of them. In total, there are 13 exams that we need to give irrespective of what uh, body of examination we're opting for. And uh, further, when you would start giving the exams, you would uh, know that there is no rigid order of exams that you need to give. So if there are 13 exams, there is no particular order that you need to follow. However, once you have started your actuarial journey, you will decide which stream you want to go into. For example, there is life insurance, uh, there is pension, there is general insurance. So based upon that, there will be certain specialization exams, which again, you would get to know as you further on proceed towards your actuarial journey. Let's talk about the fees of each of these exams. 
so since these exams are conducted twice a year each diet so each time the exams are conducted it might cost you around 15 to 35000 this is a very high level overview of what these exams might cost you a lot of people get very um, upset after listening to the fees they think that actuarial as a profession is quite expensive but if you compare it with the other professional courses that are available i think the cost adds up to be the same some courses require you to pay pay this amount in lump sum some courses cost this much in your college or whatever cost of living that you pay if you go abroad and pursue a professional course i think the amount that um, actuarial as a profession demands is exactly if not exactly it is somewhat similar to what other exams or other professional courses uh, demand from you so i think i'll be making another video which will give you a lot more detail on to what these exams are actually like and what to expect and how each of these exams are structured in the sense uh, what subjects you need to prepare for in each of these exams so i think there will be another video for this but as of now this is what the actual exams look like now let's talk about the best part of this video what is the scope of actuarial science in india as well as abroad so if i have to sum it all up in one word i would say that the scope is tremendous actuarial professionals are one of the highest paid professionals in the world and the and this profession particularly is very respectable so everyone respects an actuary and also very few people know about it very few people pursue it hence there is i would say less competition although over the years there are more and more people enrolling for the exams and you know qualifying each year apart from that if you keep all of that aside talking about the future in my opinion and also in the opinion of many of my colleagues who are um, qualified actuaries for the last so many years they believe that actuarial science is one profession that cannot be replaced by ai in a foreseeable future and if that is not lucrative enough for you let me tell you once you get into this profession you start giving your papers and you get hired by a company the exams that you give so for the, for each of the first attempt of each of these exams that you give the company is going to reimburse you your fees amount and they are also going to pay for your uh, membership fees and um, apart from reimbursing your examination fees there is also an increment attached to the exams that you pass so if you are passing an exam you'll get an increment for that uh, most of the companies have these policies and i think almost all of them now so that's pretty good right all right then that was all for this video i'm linima falswal and in case you're someone who is new to the world of actuary or the term actuary or if you're someone who is from the actuarial profession if there's anything at all that you'd like to suggest to me or any questions that you have from me please do make sure to comment down below or i've also provided my instagram handle so that we can connect uh, apart from that please do leave a like so that i keep getting motivated for making more videos do subscribe and share the video with your friends and that's it bye